eight of us. Amnesty for pedophiles. Amnesty for pedophiles. Amnesty for pedophiles. What? Amnesty for pedophiles. What you talking about? Amnesty. Amnesty. Amnesty for pedophiles. For paedophiles. I would like to see a kind of amnesty for everybody who's been up to these... Amnesty for paedophiles. What? Amnesty for paedophiles. What you talking about? Amnesty. Amnesty. Amnesty for, for paedophiles. I would like to see a kind of amnesty for everybody who's been up to these practices and to be... Re Amnesty for pedophiles. Amnesty for pedophiles. Amnesty for pedophiles. What? Amnesty for pedophiles. What you talking about? Amnesty. Amnesty. Amnesty for, for pedophiles. I would like to see a kind of amnesty for everybody who's been up to these practices and to be rehabilitated and re restored into the mainstream of the human community. Hello, me lovelies. Well, that made interesting for you, didn't it? That was Bill Maloney. And Belinda McKenzie asking for an amnesty for Peter Files. Now, Belinda McKenzie got away with that quite lightly, you know. It was Bill Maloney who uh, got slam dunked over saying that. Now, Bill Maloney, for those who don't know, was hero worshipped. Oh, again. I said, well, before, don't hear the worship him. Don't hear the something. He's out to get what he wants. He's not genuinely concerned about child sex abuse or exploitation. He just wanted to get his pie and mash films off the ground. That's all he wanted. Now, people were all, oh, Bill Maloney, hero. Yeah. Oh, Simon Danchuk, hero. Yeah. Oh, Carl Beach, I believe, Nick, hero. Yeah. Do you see a trend here? Every fucking one that's been held up as a hero has turned out to be a shit at the end of the day. Because they're using it, they're doing it for themselves, not for any victims or survivors. And that's why I say, once you start finding yourself defending someone, like Bill or Belinda McKenzie or anyone else, John Wedge or anyone else, going on how wonderful they are, how perfect they are, and refusing to listen to any information that says otherwise... Get out of the child exploitation and child sex abuse arena because you're dangerous and you're not wanted. Leave it up to sensible people who do ask questions so they can unmask whether someone is seriously campaigning for that or just campaigning and see what they can get out of it. Because usually when it's the latter, they're going to cause terrible devastation. Terrible devastation. Well, anyway... What would an amnesty for Peter Files actually mean? Now, what Bill Maloney wanted was that these Peter Files would come forward and say, yes, I'm a Peter File and I was involved in this Peter File ring and give information right, about, about these rings. Now, do you think he wanted that because it would help survivors or victims? No. Because an amnesty would also mean that if any victims came along and said, I was abused by that paedophile, what they'd be told is, oh, I'm sorry, that paedophile came forward during an amnesty and you can't do anything now. You'll just have to live with the fact that we were abused and get off with it. But Bill would have a good film to make. A few films to make. So who's benefit from it? Victims of child sex exploitation or Bill Maloney and Pie and Mash films. Well, Bill Maloney and Pie and Mash films would. And as for Belinda McKenzie, who would benefit there? Certainly not the victims again. No chance. No, she'd benefit. Because she'd say, you see what I was saying about these satanic ritual abuse circles are all true. It's all true. But again, the victims wouldn't be getting any justice. You'd, they'd be cut off totally no justice whatsoever and also it's a ridiculous scenario why the hell would anyone a paedophile go for an amnesty because it's obvious if they want to go forward for an amnesty that means they're not on the police radar they're not being watched because they wouldn't be off offered an amnesty if the police already knew about it about the crimes they were getting up to 
that wouldn't happen. So it's never going to happen. You'd never get anyone coming forward. But say that you had a paedophile in the campaign and industry. Now, I'm not talking about Bill Maloney. I'm not talking about um, Belinda. I'm not talking about John Wedger. I'll get on to a minute. I'm not saying that they're paedophiles. I'm not saying that one bit. But what I'm saying is, say that someone in the campaign and arenas was, look, Carl Beach, that was Carl Survivor and campaigner. Who, was, who did the Wall of Silence. Do you remember the Wall of Silence? With all the faces of um, survivors of sex, sexual exploitation and sexual abuse up there. He was a campaigner, wasn't he? And what did we find out about him? Paedophile. Which people were warned and totally ignored that he was a paedophile. And now he's saving 18 years in the slammer for being a liar and the fences. Because he was getting what he wanted out of it. So you have to be wary of this. An amnesty could be set up so that certain individuals could go along, creep along and say, oh, I did this, knowing that they might be caught at some point. Get off with it and then carry on in the campaigning industry. Going on, oh, I'm OK. Also, what it means is that if they apply for a job, it wouldn't be on the criminal record check. See what I'm saying? Very strange for campaigners who were going on about the poor victims, or in John Wedge's case, the poor um, child prostitutes or child whores or sluts, whatever he likes to call them. You know, I prefer the term, you know, victims of child sex exploitation, but he doesn't like that apparently. And it's too nice for him and too caring for him. Now, what about John Wedger? And everyone that knows me knows I have my radar up with John Wedger. I've had it up with John Wedger for a while now. Because, sorry, I'm ex-police myself, right? I wait for the police. And what he's telling you out there, it's the truth mixed with a hell of a lot of exaggeration and a lot of, hell of a lot of scaremongering. And a hell of a lot of, um, oh, I'm a hero, look at this, I'm fighting child sex exploitation. That has Satanism involved. Nah, don't fall for the people. But anyway, what he said, I was going to put the recording on here because someone kindly sent it to me, but it's too poor quality and I need to talk about it. But what John Wedge is basically saying is repatriation for paedophiles. In other words, instead of letting the law deal with them, this is an ex-CID CID officer, ex-CID officer people, instead of letting the law deal with them, hand it back to the paedophile and let them decide what should be done. Are you kidding me? So you get the paedophile and you say, right, what do you think should be done to stop you doing it again? Not like let the law prosecute you. So what's he going on? Why is he saying that yet at the same time claiming that he's trying to help these uh, child prostitutes, child whores, eh, John? He's crying out about these poor victims. Yeah, he's bleeding while saying that if they got hold of the people that were exploiting them, they'd be asked, well, what should you do? What should we do? <laughs> oh, wake up, people. You've got to start asking questions of what you consider to be your heroes. Never, ha There's no such thing as a hero. There's no such thing as a hero. And even if someone was a hero... They'd be mortified, absolutely mortified if you called them that. They'd be embarrassed and shrink away from us. They'd be mortified. Because that's what a true hero would do. If you want to find out if John Wedger would be mortified if you called him a hero, just tweet to him, oh, I think you should get a knighthood, John, for all your good work. Oh, he'll be retweeting that like mad. Oh, yeah, that's what he wants. He wants his knighthood. But somehow I think that John Wedge is getting in line for being built up and then knocked down by the press because once they get hold of that demons, you know, demonically possessed people thing, for they'll have a field day with them, an absolute field day. Absolutely. So anyway, darlings, just remember, you don't need heroes. Question, especially question the people you admire because there's a... You know, remember that I call it the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang scenario. Robert Heltman, when he was the child catcher, or Robert Heltman, 
Oh, I knew him years, many, 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 many years ago, Robert Heltman, an amazing man. But Robert Heltman is a child catcher. What does he do to get the children? He offers them sweets. He's colourful. He offers them all treacle, tart, and all sorts to get them to get into his um, wagon. Well, that's what you've got to be wary of. Because someone appears to be the answer to every survivor of child sex abuse dreams doesn't mean that they are.